What else must I say, boy? Step back, Mikey. We talking about the Knicks. Fair use with the videos. We getting busy and getting loud. Getting into what I call the, one of the most dysfunctional teams in the history of the NBA. You know, since Pat Ewing, John Starks left, and, and uh, Charles Oakley, the good old days. Kids, go look back at those days. You know, the Knicks have been on a downfall. It was one precious moment, as in last year, they made a big playoff run, and Julius Randle looked promising. They had draft picks, right? They got R.J. Barrett, even though they wanted Zion Williamson. And then they get into this situation this year where they're kind of going back to the Knicks, right? Was, is Julius Randle a number one option? Can he lead a team to a championship? In my opinion, no. Okay, no, Julius Randle is not a number one option. Is he a go-to number two? Is he a one, 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 a, one B, one C, one D type player? Like if you, there's a one A is LeBron James, right? Is he a one F? I think he's more of a two A, two B type player, bro. If it's a rating from one to five or one to ten, you know he he he's definitely up there, but he's not a one. Okay, now that said, the season has been, you know, up and down, a lot of new faces, a lot of new pieces that still need to gel, by the way. So I'm not one of those guys that just judges you should be balling right away. It's going to take about half a season to gel no matter who you get. It's just the way it is, man. It's only 40 games, and, you know, you need about 50, 60 games to really know each other. That said, the Knicks have made additional moves, right? They they let go of Kevin Knox, and they got Cam Reddish, and I warned everybody. I said it a million times. I said, why has Cam Reddish got to go there, right? Why do they have to ruin the poor boy's career? He's trying to get paid, and he's going to a team with a guy, Tom Thibodeau, who I, I don't necessarily like as an offensive coach. I don't think he takes enough risks. I don't think he plays enough players. Thibodeau has his set in his ways, and I, I happen to not like it. Now that he's got the playoff runs with the Knicks, there's a problem, right? It's going to be a big problem because now they have confidence in him because of that one accomplishment. I just feel as though it was the luck of the straw, right? Julius Randle had one of, one of the most incredible seasons in NBA history from, from, from his come up, all right? Remember, as a come up, I'm not saying history as far as scoring and all that, as far as where he came from to where he was at, uh, definitely a big season for him to finally be a, a one and kind of act like a one in a way. But is he a full-time one? I said no. Let's get into what we got right now, all right? You got Julius Randle, who's not a one, okay? You got R.J. Barrett. I don't think he's a one at all. I haven't seen anything that leads me to believe R.J. Barrett is a one. Here, let's see what he does here. <laughs> Very hesitant. Shot not, you know. Um, they got Kemba. They got De- Derrick Rose. The, both guys are injured. They're on the wrong side of 30. Tremendous contributions they can bring to a team, no doubt about it. But is that going to win you a championship? No, not in this NBA. The talent is too much, okay? The NBA is now too talented. There's too much guys out there. If, you know, if you're over 30 something and you, and you miss a step, somebody can easily come in and kind of replace some of that output that you have if you're not one of these super super mega stars, all right? And there's not really many of those in the NBA uh at the younger strong, you know, maybe Trey Young comes into the conversation, Mr. Luka Doncic. Now, how do the Knicks move? Okay, how do the Knicks move uh, in their next pieces here? All right, with Mr. Zion Williamson on the Pelicans and Dame Lillard out there, and, and, and even Russell Westbrook out there. Do you make a move to make yourself better for next year? Okay, you don't have, you know, you lost all your draft picks and do all this dumb stuff. You know, the Knicks are dummies, right? You know, you know, I, I knew, I knew Cam wasn't going to play, but what about Zion? Okay, a Zion Williamson. Coming over to the Knicks. A lot of talk of that, okay? There's a lot of talk of uh, Julius Randle being on the trade block for the right pieces. I wonder how interested the Pelicans would be. Because, no offense, former teammates in Brandon Ingram and Julius Randle, right? You're not going to win a championship with these boys. But, but, reuniting Barrett, storyline-wise. Barrett with Zion, Okay. Because Zion has been injured and there's it's, it's a lot of talk that it's, you know, it's something a little different than what we think, right? It's kind of a ploy. You're going you to make that move for me, boys. All right? I'm, a, I'm not playing for New Orleans. I want to be in New York. I want to be in the big light. I want the big money. I want, I want MSG. Could you make a move for Randall and Zion right now? Right now. Let me add on another piece here, okay? Okay? Randall 
for a Zion. I don't know what pieces they would have to add. I think it'll be I think it'll be really, really expensive. But Zion's injured. Maybe maybe it could be a one from one. It makes both teams better. I think Ingram, Brandon Ingram is definitely a guy, you know, who's a two running up to a one. Him and him and um, um and, and Randall actually work out pretty well. They would kind of pivot off each other. I like those two together. I think they could they could be strong uh playoff contenders with uh, Ingram and Randall at this stage of their career because they were together at w- one point, I believe, on the Lakers. And you get Zion over there with Barrett, right? I think Cam moves. So I think I don't think Cam is the right team for you. But then you got Obi Toppin at the power forward position if they're able to keep him. Okay. You got Mitch Robinson. Okay. Now, here goes the question. Where do you play Toppin if you got Zion? Because Zion is kind of like a power four. He's not a full-time small four. And there goes where it gets kind of squeaky. Okay. It gets really squeaky, but he's on a rookie contract, Mr. Obi. I know he wants burn, and he definitely could be starring somewhere. I've seen enough talent from him and, and enough of an improvement that I do feel like Obi Toppin goes to the right squad, okay? I, he would be in contention one of the top players uh, in, in a draft, right, in, in my opinion. Let's go over the stat lines of what I'm trying to say here. What I'm trying to say is there's an opportunity to even add some more pieces with a Kemba Walker, Okay, Kimball Walker with OB Toppin. This is crazy, guys. This is crazy shit. I get it. I get it. I know what I know it is. But I, I'm not just doing this because of uh you know just, just to do it. The Knicks want to win a championship. Okay. They want star power, right? As much as I love Obi, I want Obi to play. What about a package of a Kemba and an Obi to um Portland? Okay, for Dane Lillard, you know. And then maybe a couple of pieces. Maybe you had Cam Reddish in there. Cam, Obi, and, 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 and Gimba for Dane Lillard and somebody else. N- Lillard then jumps over to the next squad, who then have Barrett. Okay. They'll have Lillard. They'll have Zion. That's not bad. That's not bad. And they'll probably still keep Mitch Robinson. Okay. That's not a bad focus item there. Lillard to me is a one. D, okay, a 1D, because he hasn't got his team past the second round. But he's definitely above a Julius Randle. What he can do on the floor, what he can do on the floor is amazing. He's a 1D. Barrett, does it free him up from a little more ball hogging with, with Randle gone? Okay, does he does he start to get up? Does he start to try to move up to the next level? I haven't seen it at all, but does he start to move up? Okay, so you got Lillard, uh, uh, Barrett, you got Mr. Um, Zion Williamson, I know everyone's going, what the fuck are you talking about? This, this hypothetical bullshit doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm just going there, man, because there's a there's something going brewing, bro. There's something brewing with Zion. There's something brewing with Randall, right? I don't think they're happy. I know Thibodeau. Now, Thibodeau is going to be, he's going to have another problem. He's going to make all these moves. He don't realize the moves for him because, you know, <laughs> they're going, well, the, part of, the next part of the problem is you. But, but that says, because Zion defensively, is a great shot blocker. Barrett defensively is a guy who's a, who's a great player. All right, uh, uh, I like I like Zion. I like uh, Barrett and Zion defensively. Uh, problem is you're gonna get Dame Lillard, <laughs> and Dame Lillard defensively is not there. And I don't know if he's gonna be up to the same regimen that uh, Mr. Thibodeau is used to from his players. They still keep your boy uh, Derrick Rose. They're still gonna have a couple pieces on the bench. I think this makes sense for these teams, right? Uh, the other, the other option for me, the other option for me, I'm just gonna talking all out here, is something with the Lakers, right? Some some pseudo arrangement with the Lakers, you know, Kemba, Cam, uh, you know, you know, I think they would love to. Get, Lakers would love to get Obi Toppin, but that's not enough, right? Dame Lillard is enough to give give up them boys, right? But Russell Westbrook, whew, I don't know, man. Russell gonna have to keep having games like he had the other night, where he scored thirty points and a half to really get people going and start to believe. Uh, but at his age, really a big warning shot. You'd be almost stupid. It's like buying Bitcoin last year at sixty eight thousand. Be careful, man. It's at the top. You know, it's it's gonna come back, but it's at a top right now. And but in the case of Russell, he's not getting older and he can't come back, right? He's getting he's, it is what it is. I do think that's the next move. How do you get uh, another guy like Russell Westbrook over the next four year, right? Just to play it out and then and move some other pieces. The Knicks ain't cutting it. Record was twenty three twenty seven, the twelfth in the twelfth on twelfth in the East. There has to be a move made. Keep Barrett. 
you, you know, you and you and everything else, everybody else is really on the trade block. Um, Cam Reddish doesn't deserve to be in this situation, but he is. And I don't think Obi Toppin deserves to be in this situation. Really not being utilized as a number one, as a, as a as a guy who, um, no offense, was coming out uh, and being talked of as a number one pick. Um, get him out of there. If you're his agent, get him the hell out of the Knicks organization. They are a detriment to a career. I'm sorry. That's it. This is your boy Step Back. I think the best option, I didn't even go to the Lakers option too much, is that, is a Lillard, a Barrett, a Williamson, right? The Knicks have enough pieces, okay, in my opinion. They have enough pieces to make those trades right now because Zion is, is allegedly injured, has a foot injury. You, you, you got to scratch your head and ask yourself, you know, you know, is it, is it real or is it fake? But you, you, for real, you see his weight. Uh, he's bound to have more injuries, guys. I'm sorry. That weight is going to be a problem, despite if he's, you know, I don't want to say he's fake and if he's ready to go or not, he's going to have tremendous issues. Too many, too many, too many changes uh, that the Pelicans are making, but they've done well with Lonzo Ball on the jump shot. Maybe then they, then they can do well with setting up Zion in, a, in the best walking position. Uh, that said, let's make the moves. I want to see him happen. I think it's an opportunity. Julius Randle to the Pelicans for Zion. Maybe uh, Obi Toppin, uh, Kemba. Uh, Cam over to Portland for, for, for Dan Lillard. I think those are the best options. I'm out of here. Step back, man. You're just thinking it through, baby. I'm trying to help out the Knicks. It is what it is. We gone.